Ah, SD cards. So useful, but can cause so much pain. <laughs> hey guys, it's Andy. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to recover files from an SD card using both a PC and a Mac. I've seen a lot of videos in the past where people say they need a file recovery solution for Mac as well as PC, since there's already a lot of PC tutorials out there. Well, in this video, you're in luck because we're gonna be doing both. And as always, if there's anything else that you guys wanna see from me in the future that has to do with file recovery, please do not hesitate to let us know down below in the comments section. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So as I said, today we're gonna to learn how to recover files from an SD card using both PC and Mac. I'm gonna show you both ways. But before we get started, there's a couple things that you need to know about deleted files and how they actually work. So first of all, when you delete a file, is it really gone? Well, the answer is no. Rather, the space that that file takes up is simply marked by the computer or the device as available space to be overwritten by a different file later on down the road. So when you delete a photo, for example, that photo is still physically there. It's just marked by the computer as available space for the next photo to come in and take its place. And so naturally, this means that all we need is something that can give us that file back by revealing it in the SD card and just giving it right back to us. Which leads me on to point number two, and that's that we need a software that is both powerful and thorough enough to pick out all the files and piece them back together and give them back to us. And for that, we use Disk Drill. Disk Drill is an extremely powerful and streamlined software suite that has taken all the heavy lifting out of file recovery. It can recover more than 400 different file formats and is constantly being updated to ensure that it remains one of the best. And another great thing about it is that it actually includes data and drive protection features that are built right into it, which I'll touch on a little bit later towards the end of the video. So keeping that in mind, this first tutorial is going to be for all of my Windows users out there, but if you're using a Mac and you still need to recover files from an SD card, go and click this time code in the video, and that will take you to your specific tutorial. But for all the PC users out there, follow these steps to recover files from your SD card. So first off, head down to the link in the description where you can download and install Disk Drill. Next, go ahead and connect your SD card to your computer, either by using a dedicated card reader or by connecting the device that contains the SD card. So if you have a camera with an SD card in it, for example, you can connect the camera to the computer at this point, it's the same thing. Then go ahead and launch Disk Drill, which will allow it to populate all the disks in the center which is what we call the disk list. Now, since you weren't familiar with disk drill, just give me 30 seconds to go over the UI just to avoid confusion. So in the center here, as I mentioned, we have the list of disks and drives that's connected to the computers. So here we have my SD card and my SSDs and some other hard drives, etc. And then on the left here, we have the different panels within disk drill. So we're currently on the file recovery panel and below that we have the data protection and drive backup panels that I mentioned earlier. Then on the right here, we have the ability to change the recovery method and a button to start the scan itself. So step four, go ahead and select your SD card from the list and make sure it is set to all recovery methods. Then go ahead and click search for lost data. And this will begin disk drills advanced recovery methods. And depending on the size of your SD card, this could take quite a while. So you'll need to exercise some patience here. But then once the scan is finished, you can go ahead and review the files either in the center file structure here, which looks a lot like Windows Explorer, or in the categories on the left here. So if you're just looking for photos, for example, you can select the pictures tab on the left-hand side, which will show you all of the pictures that have been found in all the different photo files, like you know PNGs or JPEGs, or even camera raw photos if you're a photographer. And so that just makes it a lot easier to sort through the massive amount of files that may have been found in your SD card. Now, once you actually find the files that you want, something that's really important that you do is make sure that they are previewable. And you can do this by pressing the eye icon right here. And this will bring up a preview of the file if it is available. Now this is important because what a preview does is it ensures that the file is completely intact. And if you're able to successfully preview the entire file inside of Disk Drill, then that guarantees that the file will be recoverable by Disk Drill. So that's really, really important. Now once you have verified that the file is previewable and ready to go, simply put a check mark next to it and all other files that you want to recover then go down to recover and choose your save location. So another thing that's really important is to keep in mind that you should choose a save location that differs from the actual drive you're trying to recover from. So you should recover your files to say your C drive because that's obviously totally different from the SD card. So that's a good rule of thumb, never recover files to the drive you're trying to recover from. So in my case, I'm just going to select my desktop 
and I'm going to click OK and wait for the files to be recovered, after which you can verify them in the folder in your save location. And there we go. Real quick, nice and easy. That's how to do it on Windows. Now we're going to switch over to Mac. And for Mac, the process is pretty much the same, just a little bit different in terms of the UI. But for all my Mac users, follow these steps to recover files from your SD card. So as always, head down to the link in the description to download and install the Mac OS version of Disk Drill. Then go ahead and connect your SD card to your Mac, either with a reader or a specific device that contains the SD card. Next, go ahead and launch Disk Drill and let it populate all the drives in the center disk list. So once your SD card appears in the list, move over to the right hand side and click Recover, which will begin the scanning process. Then after the scan is finished, you'll be able to review the files in the file structure format. Now again, just like the Windows tutorial, it's very important that you actually preview the files first to make sure that they will be 100% recoverable and you can do this by clicking the same eye icon beside the file that you want. And if it is previewable like this one, then you are golden. So then go ahead and place a check mark next to the files you want to recover, head up top and choose your save location. Again, making sure that your save location is not your SD card, making sure that it's something completely different. For me, I always choose my desktop and then click recover. Then once the process is complete, you can head to your save location and find the files that have been recovered successfully. So that's it. Now you know how to recover files from an SD card, both on a PC and on a Mac, which is probably one of the most common problems that we see. Now again, what's really great about Disk Drill, as I mentioned earlier, is that it comes standard with data protection and drive backup features that can basically allow you to bulletproof your drives. And that'll prevent this whole issue from ever happening again and causing that mini heart attack that we all know so well. But with that being said, that is gonna be it for this video. Again, if you guys have any questions or things you wanna see me cover in the future, please be sure to let us know down below in the comments section. My name is Andy, and thank you for watching.